We continue to follow the disappearance of Texas State student Jason Landry. He was last seen in December of 2020 before driving back to his parents' Houston area home. Tonight we have never before seen video and police audio never played in public. Fox 7 Austin Shannon Ryan has the latest on the ongoing investigation in tonight's Crime Watch. Hello, how may I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I feel like you know it's coming with Southeast. Uh, I just come off of 1322 on the Salt Flat Road, and uh, I'm about, well, I'm going to say, five or six miles off of the highway. And I just come up on a vehicle that's in a ditch, and it appears that it's going to be a he hit a fence. On the side of a dark gravel road in Luling's oil field, headlights. The driver, 21 year old Jason Landry, gone. Down the street, that's a volunteer firefighter's truck. A volunteer firefighter makes a strange discovery. Jason stripped naked, his clothes, belongings strewn on Salt Flat Road. There's a toiletry bag, it's got some face cream, a little beard brush. Captain Jeff Ferry of the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office. That's Sparky. Sparky is Jason's beta. Has spent hours analyzing videos like this. All right, college kid. So it looks like great. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Small amount of marijuana. The Jason Landry case is certainly a mystery, right? And it's, it's almost a twofold mystery. Like, what happened to Jason Landry? Where is Jason Landry now? The Texas State student disappeared on December 13th, 2020, driving from San Marcos to his hometown. All signs point to us that he is um, under the influence. Um, and we know that he's going to get in a car and try to navigate his way to Missouri City. Um, where his parents are not expecting him. He was not due home. He was going to hang out with buddies, uh, play video games, and get high. Jason FaceTiming one of those friends ahead of the trip. His friend screen recording the conversation. When Jason's friend thought, uh, he was planning on meeting Jason later and uh, thought, man, Jason's so high right now, he's not going to remember uh, what he's saying. Jason seen on video rolling the same joints a state trooper would recover from his backpack just hours later. But we can just see how saturated his armpits are. He's, he's extremely sweaty. He's indoors um, and he's sweating from just sitting down. You know, we're we're 30 minutes into the video and he's just pretty sweated through his shirt. Certainly seems relevant knowing that in less than uh, an hour, Jason's going to be disrobing uh, in a very cold, austere environment. The screen recording does not have audio, forcing Ferry to rely on Jason's friend's recollection of the conversation. They're talking about um, spiritual awakenment and uh, enlightenment and opening his third eye um, and the, the drug consumption. That conversation, Ferry says, is consistent with Jason's internet activity in the minutes leading up to his disappearance. He's Googling how long can you live in the woods without food? You know, how long can you go um, in the wilderness? Uh, he's looking up some spiritual enlightenment um, uh, practices. Um, he's looking up different strains of marijuana and different um, how to combine those. Um, he's looking up different um, and he's talking about uh, psychedelics and how they have impacted his life and his perception of um, spiritual awakeness. Looking at Jason's digital footprint. Again, when we look at the for this map, the yellow is our Snapchat data, the blue or the teal here is our uh, Waze data. Ferry doesn't believe anything nefarious happened to him. And this is pretty consistent travel. I mean, he doesn't stop. Still, searches have come up dry. The belief at this point is that he's just out there um, and and that's frustrating, right? Uh, because it is, um, there's a lot of land. That's why Ferry says the sheriff's office is sharing these phone calls, videos, and other data with Fox 7 hoping to generate new interest in leads. Jason's family is now left with their own questions. If for any individual, myself included, you or anyone else, and the government felt it would appropriate to release our weirdest searches that we ever Googled in recent time, what would it look like for each of us? It would probably look pretty odd. So. 
That would be my question is, why would you do that? Shannon Ryan, Fox 7 Austin News.